I'm Julie Bernhardt from Melbourne, Australia, and I'm here with Vivian Fu, who presented a beautiful trial yesterday, and we're here to talk about that trial. Hi, Vivian. Good morning. Can you tell us a little bit about why you wanted to do the study you did? Um, we were really interested in um, incorporating different components of um, sort of psychology of recovery. Um, and there's a really large body of qualitative research about uh, person-centered care and how um, even though people, uh, therapists and doctors and rehabilitation uh, might feel like they're being very person-centered, a lot of the qualitative research actually finds that um, that's not the case. We wanted to centre um, the person with stroke in their recovery and help empower them to figure out how they can recover themselves um, and, and really um, focus on the things that were meaningful and important to the person with stroke. And sometimes when um, people are admitted to hospital and they go through a long process of inpatient rehab, sometimes that can be, quite, that can be lost. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had this intervention uh, that was tested and published in 2011, this Take Charge intervention. And it was, it was found to um, be effective in improving quality of life. And so we wanted to see whether we could reproduce that in a larger study and also in a different population of people. So that initial trial was conducted in Māori and Pacific people in New Zealand. And we wanted to see if it worked in everyone else as well. Fantastic. So you presented those results yesterday and the take charge intervention, which was a single intervention with a trained person, but not a highly trained person. So you were able to get that sort of translation across to different uh, people doing the intervention. Uh, it worked. It worked. It changed your outcome that you were uh, your primary outcome. And so that's very exciting. Tell us why you think it worked. Um, I think intrinsically in all human beings, when something happens to you, you, you want to be able to be in control and to, to have the ability to recover yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, being given that space, that opportunity, the permission, the autonomy to, to think about what is important and, and who you are as a person and what your hopes and your fears are and what your best day might look like, all of those things um, uh, are sort of part of this the psychology of self-determination theory, which is what really helped inform um, how we wanted to design the intervention. And so the fact that it worked uh, wasn't too surprising for us. Mm -hmm. Great. So I noted in your protocol that uh, you didn't look at or analyse what people actually put into their own booklets. Mm which is part of the intervention. Yes. So they have to describe their best day and they have to describe the problems that they're having and then come up with solutions. So how do you, what did people do? How do you know how they approached their own solutions? How can you unpack that for us? Uh, did you do some other research that can help understand what happened to those people? Um, we were actually quite uh, open with a lot of our participants in the sense that, um, for example, in the goal setting section of the, um, of the uh, intervention, if they couldn't come up with any goals and if they wanted to leave the page blank, same thing for the my best day component, we were very happy with that. Mm -hmm. It was more that um, I think it was the, the giving permission and giving power to a person to think about those things was actually the key ingredient that made all the difference. Um, our research clinicians who delivered the session were trained specifically not to give advice, sure. not to give any suggestions, um, and it was really just to, to sort of reflect the thoughts of the person with stroke and um, to, to sort of draw out those important meaningful things. And so um, we did do a subsequently a qualitative study which we um, are still putting together at the mm -hmm. moment. Um, but some of the themes that came out of that were that um, the intervention itself helped the person with stroke to focus on the things that were important. So because it, uh, the intervention occurred after they were discharged back home, uh, that, that, that early period uh, after you get home and you, you know, you've, you've kind of settled back in your own environment, things can be quite chaotic. Um, you know, you've got, sometimes you've got therapists visiting and doctors visits and trying to catch up with lots of things and so it really um, 
uh, people found it helpful to focus on the things that were important and meaningful and, and made them happy and gave them joy and, and the things they wanted to recapture, which they had lost. Well, it was a really interesting study to hear. Congratulations, and we'll look forward to hearing more about it. Thank you so much.